up to 20 now. So this is another pronoun question. To be honest, we could probably just plug it in, like really just uh, look at part of the sentence here, but I am gonna do the full explanation. So you could skip ahead if you just want the quick explanation. The violins handmade. So here it means the violins that were handmade. You know, that that's a really good reduction. We saw this in a previous question too. The word that, I'm gonna actually write three, I gotta write three words down, you write them too. That, which, and who. Write those three words down. Uh, now let's write down uh, some B words. That, were, which, are, who is. You could write those down too. Good, did you write them? Okay. Now I want you to cross them out. Kill them, cross it out, cross it out. Because these words add very little to your writing. That, which, and who, there's nothing much to them. They're like very watery, kind of simple, basic words. Um, so just try not to use them in your, in your writing. Like the girl who is over there, the girl over there. It's the same thing, right? Why would you add these extra words that just dilute, that water down your writing? So good writers avoid such kind of filler words. I call them filler words, and maybe you can call them filler words too. We'll all call them filler words, and we'll all kill them from our writing. We'll strike them from our writing. I shouldn't say in a harsher way. We'll strike them from our writing. And that's pretty much what the writer here did. The violins handmade in the 17th century. Doesn't that sound better than the violins that were handmade? Do you see what the sentence gains from having lost extra junky filler words? See, aren't you glad I'm telling you extra stuff instead of just skipping to the answer choices? I knew it. I knew you like extra stuff. Okay, back, back to it now. The violins handmade in the 17th century by Italian craftsman Antonio Stradivari have been celebrated, have been praised or acclaimed. There's a good word, SAT word, acclaimed. They've been acclaimed as some of the finest in the world. Everyone knows those violins. In close collaborations with musicians, he introduced changes to the shape of a traditional violin, flattening some of the instrument's curves and making blank lighter. What is lighter? Rough answer, making the violin lighter overall. So making it lighter overall, and I see it right there. You can't pick those, making those, because that sounds a bit vague. Uh, usually the word those requires a noun. The word those could also mean people, like those who want to who want extra help stay after class. But I, again, it's also plural, which is the, probably the biggest issue is those are plural. We need a singular. Uh, making one, to be honest, one to me sounds like a person. But, you know, one who feels that way, is, it sounds like a person. Um, making one violin also sounds like maybe a single violin and they're talking about the violin in general, so it. Making them is plural, so we'll go with D, the singular, not the plural. 